What is going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at the fully unlocked Pentium known as the G3258. It is Haswell based and it features 3 megabytes of L3 cache. There are only two cores and two threads. There is no hyper threading at all. So it's just your standard run of the mill dual core and it's a Pentium that you can overclock. Now we're going to be running it at 4.4 gigahertz. The ring ratio, if you're curious, is set to 41. I couldn't get it the same. And anything above 4.4 was too much for my cooler to handle. And it just didn't seem stable enough with the voltage I needed. The multi-threaded Cinebench score was 331. And the single threaded was 172. Putting it above most other uh, CPUs when it comes to single threaded performance. Now moving on to our first game, we have CSGO. This was running at 4K. I'm using the standard CSGO benchmark that I've used in my previous videos. If you're curious and you wanna see the results for yourself, you can go ahead and download the CSGO benchmarking map on the workshop. So on 4K, we were using the R9 270 as usual, and we were getting perfect FPS. Now when it comes to a game like CSGO, even when you drop down to 1080p, you're gonna get huge performance, uh, even with the R9 270, the CPU is not going to be a bottleneck, it's more the GPU at this point that I usually use for my benchmarks, but it's really, this game's not going to use more than two threads, so no matter what, your single thread performance is going to make a massive difference in this game, so even if you have eight cores but the single thread performance is horrible, CSGO will not run as well as it's running right now. Another game that I absolutely love to CPU benchmark is StarCraft. Now StarCraft loves dual cores that are very fast and it can use up to three threads, but the third thread doesn't really do much. But overall, the game was running outstanding. I was testing it out on my standard Desert Strike map that I usually use to benchmark, and it was smooth. Not a single hiccup. The FPS was 43 min, but that was just a slight little stutter that basically occurred. Dropping down to 1080p, you don't see that much of a difference when it comes to FPS. Um... You're not really going to notice it because of the GPU that I'm using. But overall, this CPU for the money is amazing. You can quite literally run anything that only needs about one to two threads, really. When you get into more multi-threaded stuff, such as when we move on to the next game, which is Battlefront. Battlefront, now, I was testing this out on a 40-player map. Um, what I did notice, though, is the FPS, even though it doesn't really report as being too low, it's only about 35, it was extremely low for some reason. In some cases, it actually dropped down more, depending on the map. So, I mean, it is Frostbite. You need a lot of threads to run this game, usually. But having two very fast ones, I guess, can kind of make up for that. So even a very modern title, such as Battlefront, can run quite well on this thing. But the best part is, I picked this thing up for only 45 bucks at Micro Center. That's right, 45 bucks, and then I got a Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not the Evo, it's the LED edition for only 25 bucks. So for about 80 bucks, I'm able to destroy most modern titles and some older titles when it comes to games that only need a decent dual core at the minimum. So if you're looking for a very good budget, um, oriented CPU, or if you're looking to be at a build for someone else, or if you're running an older CPU such as a Phenom, Athlon, whatever, Core 2 Duo, this thing's great. It's also very cheap. Like I said, I got it for 45 micro centers. So if you got one of those near you, check it out over there. If you don't, I'm pretty sure you can get these for about 60 bucks or so in Newegg. They're still pretty good. I know that there's a new Pentium out, Skylake one, and I think there might be a Cabby Lake one out. I'm not 100% sure about that. It's hyper threaded, but if you can get this thing clocked very high, I'm quite sure you could probably beat it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, I also have a bunch of other videos where I tested out an Athlon, a Phenom, and a bunch of other stuff. If you guys could check those videos out, that'd be awesome. Uh, I use the exact same R9 270 and the exact same RAM count as usual. So if you want a good comparison between this CPU and something like a quad-core Phenom or like a Sandy Bridge quad-core, go ahead and check those videos out. That would be awesome. Also, if you guys enjoyed the content, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like it if you liked it. And, of course, share it with all your friends if you really enjoyed it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Also, these things will not die at all. And it can also shoot cover. Wow, okay, that's great. You can't even use cover in this game, apparently. Wow.